There are 12 professional sports teams in the state of New York. And today, I'll be putting them all into a tournament to find out what team is actually the best in all of New York. Round one of this tournament is going to be a head-to-head -head matchup between each team in every sport. Which means teams like the Yankees and Mets are going to be going at it, and teams like the Knicks and Nets. For a sport that has three teams, I will simulate a full season, and the team that has the best record in that sport will get a bye. That means the other two teams that don't get the bye will play each other first, and the winner will take on the third team. That means after round one, we'll be left with one team from each sport, so five teams in total. And I do have the Wheel of Sports games here, or the Wheel of Leagues, if you will. Let's see which sport we are going to be getting started with. It is going to be the National Hockey League. The NHL features three New York teams, including the Buffalo Sabres, New York Rangers, and New York Islanders. So after the season simulation to determine which NHL team is going to get a bye, the New York Rangers finished higher than the Islanders and the Buffalo Sabres with 99 points the third seed in the Eastern Conference. And that means our first matchup of the tournament is Islanders versus Sabres, and since the Islanders are the higher seed in the season, they get home ice. This game started all Islanders up 3-0 in this game, and the Sabres battled their way all the way back to force overtime. Let's see what happens. A few moments later. Oh my goodness! Pajot! Short-handed or as the power play was expiring, JG Pajot snipes it. And the New York Islanders move on to the next round. And now it's time for the Islanders to take on the Rangers. Rangers versus Islanders. The Rangers started off pretty hot. They took the lead early, but the Islanders battled back similar to the Sabres last game. But the Rangers look to close it out as they're up 5-3 with a minute to go. The Rangers almost choked this game away. But with that fifth goal, did they ice it? 30 seconds remaining in this one. They have pressure. Adam Fox going to rip it on net. Zabanishad trying to make it 6-3. Can't quite do it, but that's fine. With the constant pressure, the Islanders are not going to score two goals. Look at the way they're moving the puck. Sorokin the save on Kreider, but it really doesn't matter because the Rangers have pretty much taken down the entire clock, and they will take down the entire clock before the Islanders even have a chance to do anything. And the New York Rangers move on. Back to Willow Sports we go. We have our first team moving on to round number two. And now we move on to the MLB. Make your predictions in the comments down below. Who's taking the Subway Series? This Yankees-Mets game was super low scoring. Each team only able to get one run each before going to extras with a solo shot from Giancarlo Stanton for the New York Yankees and Ronnie Mauricio of the Mets. And now we are in the 11th inning. That brings us to Isaiah Kainafalefa. IKF? No way! IKF, did he just walk it off? Isaiah Carter Falefa of all people to hit a walk-off home run for the Yankees to send them to round number two. I did not think it would be Isaiah Kiner Falefa and the Yankees move on to round two. 385 feet for IKF and they meet him at home plate. And we'll see the Yankees in the next round. The Yankees and Rangers have moved on. Now we move on to the NFL. There are three NFL teams in the state of New York. We have both the New York Giants and New York Jets that, yes, play in New Jersey, but they're New York teams and the Buffalo Bills. And since we had three teams in the NFL, we simulated the season and the Bills finished the highest out of all three New York teams. The New York Giants offense actually showed up in this game, leading it 21-3 in the third quarter. Now, with just one more first down to pick up to end this game, let's see if they can do it. Well, the Giants just need one more first down to end this game completely and go full victory formation but this game is pretty much over anyway if Barkley wants to get the first down he can end it officially but it's third and one Jets can't stop the clock anymore they'd get the ball back down 17 points with about five or ten seconds left so this game is done we will watch this play though to see if the Giants can go victory formation but the Giants will be traveling to Buffalo Barkley does not get the first down to face the Bills. And this game's officially over. 27-10. Giants win. This is a way better game, though, than the game they just played last week. And now we find out which team is moving on to round two. The Giants and Bills. This is a very close game. Each team matching each other on offense. We're in the fourth quarter. Let's see who wins it. The Giants take the lead. Saquon Barkley. They're trying to upset the Bills in Buffalo. They go up by one. Out of the two-minute warning. 
James Cook again gets the call. He might find the end zone, and he's in. Buffalo Bills are up by a touchdown. The Bills, however, do need this two-point conversion to go up a full seven points. Can they do it? James Cook gets the call again, gets pushed in. Can the Giants tie it? And the Giants fumbled, recovered by the Bills, and that might do it. The Giants fumble. The Bills take control. They're already in field goal range. If they needed to kick it, because the Giants do have three timeouts. But a first down here would end this game. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing. We're on the road to 100K. James Cook gets the call. James Cook, what an end of the game for this man. And the Bills can go victory formation. They're moving on. Two more sports to go. What team is going to be joining the Bills, the Rangers, and the Yankees? It's time for soccer. And now we have a New York City football club matchup versus the New York Red Bulls. I won't even lie and tell you that I know one player on either of these teams. I barely know five football slash soccer players in general, and I don't know any that play for the Red Bulls or the New York Football Club as a New Yorker. So if you watch one of these teams, feel free to enlighten me in the comments down below. But who's going to win this one? Edelman! Nobody even wants to stop him except the goalie. What are they doing? The New York Red Bulls are owning the football club. What's going on with the New York football club? Okay, there's a good steal. Edelman is nice. I don't know who Edelman is, but he's nice. He's all over the field right now. The Red Bulls are dominating this team. The football club doesn't even have a chance. The goalie's the only one that showed up today. This has been a rough game to watch. This has been rough. Someone's got to end it, though. Someone has to win. These teams can't even really get to the goal of the other team. Barlow, though, this is the best chance. What is he doing? Shoot the ball. What are you doing? What is going on? Is this, like, glitched? Like, how is this this bad? I can't comprehend it right now. I have no idea why that ball was not shot. But we're closing in on the 90th minute. I'm not sure how much extra time there's going to be. Is there overtime in this, or do we go straight to the shootout? Or the free kicks, whatever they call it in soccer slash football here. Closing in on the 90th minute. This has been a horrible game to watch. Please end right here. We got one extra minute. Nothing's going to happen. What are we doing here? Take the ball from Edelman and we should go to the free kicks, the penalties. What are we doing here? Let's see. Penalty kicks are here. First up for the football club, scores. I don't know any of these players, I'm not going to lie. Now for the Red Bulls, can he answer? Oh, he missed the net, it was wide open. You're not going to see Messi do that one. Rodriguez misses the net. You're not going to see Ronaldo miss the net. Barlow to tie it for the Red Bulls. The Red Bulls knock in their second goal of the penalties and the final attempt of the penalty kicks for the football club is no good. The Red Bulls win it on this free kick, missed off the post or crossbar there. Missed it off the crossbar and the Red Bulls move on. Thankfully, that's over. That means our final sport of round one is the NBA featuring the New York Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets. The Knicks absolutely dominated the Brooklyn Nets in this game in Brooklyn, almost up by 20 points by the time the game is done. Let's watch them close it out. And it looks like with 12 seconds left, the New York Knicks will be the team out of the National Basketball Association to move on to round number two, the final round. Mikael Bridges, he won't hit it at the buzzer. Nets lose by 18. We'll see the Knicks in the second round. The second round is the final round. We have five teams remaining, one from each sport, and it's a simple concept. I'm going to be taking control of all five teams, and I have to score with all five, and we're going to be ranking them in a leaderboard one to five based off how fast they score to see who is the best New York sports team. So let's spin this wheel of sports teams. Let's see who we get out of the five teams, and we got to start it off with the Red Bulls. And here we go. We are in the game with the Red Bulls, and as soon as the ball is kicked we start the stopwatch timer now i'm hoping i do a lot better with this team than what i saw them do in the matchup there was not one goal scored in regulation so i better score a lot quicker let's not miss the net oh my goodness we have a chance shoot i'm clicking the button what the heck why did that not shoot no idea why my guy did not shoot the ball there but we got it back this time can we shoot it? Can we score? No, this goalie played good. I remember in the actual matchup between these two. Here we go. We have a chance. Can we get the pass off? The pass wide open net. We score with the New York Red Bulls. A minute 
38 seconds in. What a dish to Barlow for the most wide open net you will ever see probably in any sport. And obviously with that, the Red Bulls take first place on the leaderboard. That gave the Red Bulls a pretty solid time of a minute and about 38 seconds. Now it's time for the Buffalo Bills. And here we go with Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. As soon as the ball is snapped, we begin. And the ball is snapped. We get a little crazy. Gabe Davis, you should have caught that. We're trying to beat the time of the New York Red Bulls. Let me know in the comments down below. Who do you have taking this whole thing at this point? Five teams remain. We have the Red Bull score. We get it to Stephon Diggs. Diggs makes a move. Stephon Diggs still going. Picks up 22. And we are no huddling anytime I can to save as much time for Josh Allen, the Buffalo Bills here. And I'm looking. Oh, no, I didn't see the corner there. Luckily, Josh Allen with that laser of an arm fits it in. We got to be careful here. I would like to go to Diggs if possible. I want to roll out with Josh here. We have about 40 seconds until the Red Bulls time. You know what? Davis is open if Josh is able to get it to him. And he does want to throw Josh Allen. But we can't no huddle. I guess he got out of bounds. But come on. We're right there. We are moving this football. Come on, Josh. Can we do it? Kincaid breaks. Dalton Kincaid can't quite get to the end zone. Got to do it again. Josh, do we give it to James Cook? He had a great game against the Giants in the tournament match. James Cook doesn't get in. No huddle. You got to be quick. I'm going to have to go to the clock. I don't know their exact time. It's on the screen for you all right now. I have to take a look at my notes. And Kincaid gets it. A minute 36. Who beat who? The Red Bulls and the Bills scored so closely together that I had to review both the touchdown and the goal from each team. And it looks like the Bills barely scored quicker than the Red Bulls. Which means the Bills are now in first place on the leaderboard. That barely could have been any closer between the Bills and the Red Bulls. But the Bills now have the time to beat. And now it's time for the New York Rangers. Well, here we go with the Rangers. The time to beat is tough. But the stopwatch has started. If we get another time that close and we got to go to the tape again, that's going to be unreal. But we have the puck with Chris Kreider. The New York Rangers. Kako skating to the net and it's in. Oh my goodness. That's a lucky goal. 14 seconds. Nobody's beating that time. The Knicks are not beating that time. The Yankees are not beating that time. Wow. Chris Kreider. That's a lucky goal. I kind of just threw it to the front of the net. I'm not even sure if I got a stick on it. I think it went off an Islander and in. Probably went off a Pelic. Did it go off Kako? I don't even know. We got to go to the replay. So we have Kreider skating in. He dishes across. It goes off Pelic stick just like I thought. And finds the back of the net. And with that insanely quick goal, the Rangers take first place. 14 seconds. I don't care what team you are. You're not beating that score. That would be extremely impressive. Next up is the Yankees. So for baseball, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Because in baseball, the at-bats are so slow. It would take too long. It wouldn't be fair for baseball. I'm going to go into practice mode and leave it as Aaron Judge always. Until hopefully we hit a home run. Okay, we're waiting to get the stopwatch started with Judge. Can we really beat 14 seconds? Oh, if I didn't absolutely stick, maybe we could have because that was right down Broadway. That couldn't have been a better pitch from Sanger, but just look how slow it takes him to deliver the pitch. Come on. Judge puts it in play, but not quite over the fence. That one probably wouldn't have beat 14 seconds anyway. The Rangers really set an unbeatable time. We're putting it in play. We got to send it over the fence, though. Can you do it, Aaron? Judge, get out of here, Paul. Is it gone? No, off the wall for Aaron Judge. I thought that was it. I thought for sure Aaron Judge with 99 power just went yard. That time, perfect PCI basically. Just a little bit late on the swing. You can't hit that ball better than I just hit it. Come on, Aaron. We are right there. We got about 10 seconds to send it over the fence here or the Yankees are going to drop to last place. Deliver the pitch. Let's go. Judge, is it going to go? It might actually go. Aaron Judge. No, it doesn't go. Just falls a little short there in right center field. And the Yankees will be in last place. But how far will they be in last place? We are sending it out of here. That's gone. Make it the next pitch. If that's not gone, I don't know what to say. Are you kidding me? 
perfect, perfect from Aaron Judge? There it is. Please stay fair. Perfect, perfect. I'm not even gonna get to see the ball land, but it's definitely gone. For basketball, things are gonna be a little bit different though because there's so many points scored in basketball. It wouldn't be fair for them to score one point in basketball compared to like one run, one goal, one touchdown, which is way more difficult. So what we're gonna do, I have to score five points with the Knicks. Final team. The Knicks are not scoring five points though in 14 seconds. Tip is good. Can we score quickly? For the second best time, maybe. Mitchell Robinson. Inside. That's good defense, though. I really got nowhere to go there. Jalen Brunson, though. Let's kick it to Julius. Julius, he puts it in for two. Can they please just do it? I guess they won't. Brunson, can we hit a three with him? Brunson, from a little bit of range. No, a little bit of range. I knew we were wide open. I was hoping it would fall. He doesn't have any sort of limitless range, I guess. We only got 20 seconds, 15 seconds. It's got to be a three now. Or the Knicks aren't going to have the second best time like I thought they would. But Randall will put it in for four points. Brunson. He's wide open. It goes. Jalen Brunson. Four or three finally in two minutes, 22 seconds for the Knicks. And after all teams have scored, the New York Rangers have scored the fastest and are crowned the number one team in New York sports. Ask it over the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And make sure to go check out my other channels, which are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.